Hello, welcome to Texas Top Cuisine. Today I'm going to show you how to do a pan fried catfish fillet. All right, these are our catfish fillets. Now actually what these are is a pangus or a swahi fillet is the way you're gonna see them marketed in the uh, grocery stores. But they are an Asian catfish. I single bread my fish. I don't like a real thick breading. I don't want a whole lot on there. And also sometimes too heavy of a cornmeal, I think can, can be kind of tough on you. So actually what this is, is this is half corn meal and half corn flour. If you do not have any corn flour, then just use regular flour. But if you can see, it's, it's lightly bread. Nothing wrong with these at all. But again, you'll see a market that say Swahi fillets or Pangus. Both of those are a very nice fillet. They're very meaty. They are mild. They're not a real, a real fishy fish. But that's pretty. And again, you know, some people will tell you, uh, you know, it smells like fish. It's, it's getting old. It's got some bacteria in it. I agree with that. Some people will tell you it doesn't smell at all. I don't agree with that. I think uh, seafood should smell fresh like the ocean. And if it smells fresh like the ocean, then you're doing good. Now to season up my cornmeal, what I have in here today, is I've got about two cups of corn flour, two cups of cornmeal, and I have about two tablespoons of black pepper, two tablespoons of cayenne pepper, a tablespoon of garlic and about three tablespoons of salt. To season this up. This is an excellent, excellent fish fillet. I'm pressing this down. It will adhere real good, but that's going to make a very nice fried fish fillet. We're going to see if we can get these on the stove and see how they cook up. When I put these fillets in, I'm going to put them near me and go away. That way when the oil splashes up, it will splash away from me and not toward me. Get the next fillet. Put it again near me. Carry it away. Let those fry up. These are real pretty fillets. The swahi or, or pangus catfish, Asian catfish, it's, it's mild. It's not, it's not muddy like sometimes we get on our, our catfish over here. Aren't sure better than a wild caught catfish. But anyway, cooks up good. I'm cooking this in just a, a 10 inch Wagner Ware skillet. The skillet is probably, I don't know, 50, 60 years old. It's, I'm sure older than I am. I've had it for a lot of years. It was used when I got it. I collect a lot of cast iron. I have some cast iron that's over 100 years old. So as long as you take care of your cast iron, it is an heirloom to pass down to your children and their children and their children. Just take good care of it. Make sure you don't scratch it. Uh, don't have rapid temperature changes in it, things like that. And uh, basic care, basic care. Keep the rust out of it, keep it oiled. When it needs to be re-seasoned, re, -seasoned, re -seasoned it. But cast iron is a wonderful thing to cook with. I love it, uh, I enjoy it, and like I said, I collect it. So you, you know I have a whole bunch of it. I probably got 100 pieces of cast iron out there from small frying pans to fajita pans to uh, Dutch ovens to uh, 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 over the for the old fire waffle makers that, that went on the, the wood burning stove. I have about three or four of those. So I, I enjoy cast iron. I like collecting it, and uh, it's a lot of fun. A lot of fun. But let's get these last two fillets fried up and see how the fish turns out for the season. We're heading for a golden brown with our fish. All right, these are frying up really well. Not trying to float yet, and of course. A very big fillet is not going to try to float much in here because it's not a whole lot of oil. I might get away with cooking these all on one side because the oil is deep enough, but I'm not going to do that. I think here in a minute I am going to go ahead and turn them over. All right, these are frying up real nice. I think I'm going to turn them over, get that other side done. 
Oh yeah. They're looking pretty. There we go. Let them go just a little bit longer. You can tell they're, they're getting pretty buoyant. They're wanting to float. Probably not enough oil in there to let them float, but they're wanting to. So we're just going to golden them up a little bit more, and then we'll get them on out. All right, these are looking really nice. And I am using a rubber tong so I don't scratch my seasoning on my cast iron pot. I'm going to let that drain out. Very good. Put it on my drip pan. Turn this one over. There it is. Drain it. Put it on the pan. All right, looks like these fillets are trying to float. They are a golden brown. So we're going to get these out and drain them. Right there. Last one out. Oh, yeah. There we go. Four beautiful catfish fillets. Looking very, very nice. Thanks for watching Texas Dog Cuisine. We appreciate you being here tonight. If you enjoyed our catfish fillets that we fried up tonight, go down there and give me a thumbs up. We always do appreciate that. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so. Go tell your friends about us. Let us let them know what's going on on Texas Dog Cuisine. We appreciate you here. See us next time. Sitting by the wagon when the sun come up this morning Baking eggs and coffee, biscuits and beans Cookie strikes the bell and he rings the world a warning How them boys put food away beats all I've ever seen